we also have comments of the day. If you guys don't know, I have posted up uh, another Flat Earth video on YouTube, and boy, is it teeming with shitty-ass comments. <laughs> and I mean, these aren't just your run-of-the-mill shit comments. These are advanced placement com shit comments. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna speak in a tone of voice that is indicative of their intelligence level, at least <laughs> what I kind of think of it as. Look at the takeoff from the moon. They want us to believe that a guy on Earth took that shot via remote and with his three second delay, and he does it perfect. I don't buy it. And then there is the Van Allen belt. How do they get the astronauts through it? Through. Like, like some fucker, like, was up there and he threw the astronauts. But that's your first problem. My first problem is the fact that there are no spaces around the motherfucking commas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how did they get the ast astronauts through it? And out of six missions, no one gets sick. One guy puts a pic of his family on the lunar surface and there's no damage. I, d I don't know off the top of my head, but uh, but the surface of the moon and sunlight would <laughs> have damaged that pick, I'm sure. Would. Would. <laughs> the sunlight would. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, okay, so the, the, the remote thing... Uh, I mean, that's an easy thing to explain. I mean, even if it is on a three second delay, you can choreograph your shit and, you know, you can have a countdown to when you're supposed to launch and when the guy is supposed to send the signal and everything. I mean, you can, you can, you can, you can explain that. I mean, you can choreograph that. I mean, you can, you can coordinate, not choreograph, but coordinate uh, that those particular actions. So uh, then there is the Van Allen belt. Uh, how did they get the astronauts through it? Um, there, there are weak points in it, so you know that's that's how. I mean, there's thin parts and there's weak parts of the radiation, and basically you just gotta you gotta aim for those particular parts, and that's why the launch dates are so important to uh, NASA or not NASA, but the Apollo missions. Well, and you see the the reason that you can throw them through the Van Allen belt is because it's space and they're light. And so you got the thing that's launching them on one side and then this big ass catcher's mitt. Have you seen like the catcher's mitt like in, um, in, Star, in Star Trek? The catcher's mitt on the other side. Wait, the catcher's mitt in Star Trek? Are you thinking space balls? No, not space balls. No, it's like, it's a way that the, it was in Star Trek Voyager. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, with the way that you're talking, I'm thinking a literal catcher's mitt on the other side, like, that caught the lunar module. No. I don't know. And then the one, no one gets sick from it. They actually have to be, uh, you know, p people actually have to um, regulate how much time they spend in space because of the radiation. Um, it's not that no one gets sick, it's that they, they they regulate it to where the astronauts aren't supposed to get sick. Like, they don't take enough radiation to get radiation sickness. Well, and they use materials that protect them from radiation. It's called, you know, scientific research, and they figure out how to protect them with, you know, technology and shit. Yeah, technology and shit. <laughs> I don't know how he thinks the pick should have been damaged. Like, I mean, does he think that just on the surface of the moon, things burst into fucking flames or something? Like, whenever the light hits it? I don't know, like, what he thinks happens uh, in when the moon is getting hit by the sun. But apparently it's that. And wood. There's definitely wood on Mars. I'm, I'm, I'm sure... The moon. Or the moon. Sorry, not mm. Mars. Moon. Well, there's probably wood on Mars, too. All right, and then this comment comes from a person that doesn't understand response videos. <laughs> I can't deal with this video. It's exhausting trying to follow with babbling every 10 seconds. If if you don't know about the response video format um, where you play a little bit and then you respond to it, that is how it, I'm covered under, um, under uh, uh, FUPA. Um, fair practice. Fair, fair use. Yeah, that's so, what I meant. Yeah, 
Fair use. So that's that's how that works. Fupa. Fupa was Fupa. better. Let's go with Fupa. Well, Fupa is a fair use. Um, it's the thing created by H3H3 that helps fight for fair use. They're like an organization. Okay, let's see. Thanks for proving that you are a liar. The moon landings are a hoax, you idiot. No one went to the moon. Rockets do not work in a vacuum. It has been proved to be a hoax. Jahara Witz video vids proves you are lying out of your asshole. <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't know exactly why he thinks I'm lying. Because that would that would indicate that I am knowingly saying shit that is false and and saying it in you know in, in hopes to fool people or to make them believe something that's not true that's not what i'm doing i'm just telling you shit that that is if that, that are facts <laughs> it would not be the first time you talked out your ass though all right keep taking the tablets you know jack shit you can't even talk <laughs> <laughs> Take, uh, wait, okay taking the tablets I'm. I think he means like you know the the brainwashing pills or whatever kind of conspiracy theory. Oh, like around that. red pill, blue pill shit. I guess so. This 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 really is ridiculous. I mean, he doesn't put forth it, like he doesn't disprove anything that I said in my video, which I covered a lot of things like, uh, you know, the construction of the uh, land uh, or, or the uh, lunar lander, uh, pr how perspective works, and all that kind of stuff. Did, did you expect any of these motherfuckers to get on here and disprove anything you say? No. No, I'm not on drugs. I was up till 3 a.m. making sure KC was okay, so <laughs> that's why I seem a little drunk. I'm fine. I was just it, a little under the weather yesterday. Yeah, here is the, the comment of the day, though. Hey, godless engineer. Where did you study engineering? At the McDonald's University. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> a fucking idiot. <laughs>